Hi there everyone, Josiah here with Womp Rat Creations and it's time for another prop build. Um, for this week's scratch build, I actually have something really cool planned out and that is involving this. This, uh, if you guys watched the last video, uh, you might have already had a chance to look at this, but I didn't really tell you what it was. Some of you may have been able to, uh, to figure it out from the last video, but this is a original Patterson Trident viewer. What that means is this is a main component that was used in the building of a detention block uh, camera array in A New Hope on the Death Star when they're going to save Princess Leia and um, the heroes come into the control room and then end up opening fire on everyone. They take out a whole bunch of different camera arrays and one of those is primarily made up of six of these. Now, I was able to hunt this one down. They are available online and they're not super expensive, um, but I just got one. So in my last video, I cast it up, I made a brush up mold and I rotocasted a bunch of these. And so thankfully that's already taken care of for this video. I have six castings of these. It's a lot. It is a lot, but I'm glad that that's all taken care of for us. I already have six copies of these, which is exactly what I need for this prop. I could have used the original in the prop, but I kind of don't want to, even though this isn't like a super hard to find piece. I think it's cool that I was able to make these castings from an original. So I'm going to store this somewhere just for posterity's sake. I didn't want to mess with it. So I just went ahead and made six copies instead of five. So there's a couple things that I need to do for this. I already gave all of these a coat of black primer uh, just to kind of even out the surface a little bit. Now what I need to do, <clears throat> the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to give all of these a coat of blue. And to be fair, let me just say that this is not, there were two variations of the Patterson Trident viewer. The, uh, there's no differences between them besides color. And the only difference in that color is the ones that were used in the film were all this dark blue color up on top. They didn't have the second tone on the bottom. Um, but that's fine. It's, it's, you know, shape wise, dimension wise, all of the details are all the same. Um, so I didn't mind that it wasn't exactly the right one. But I found a spray paint that I think is pretty close to this top color. So the first thing I'm going to do is give all of these a coat of that blue. Then uh, I need to make a, a back plate that all of these mount onto. And I already have a plan for that as well. So let's get these, let's get a coat of paint on these. Then I will turn my attention to constructing the back plate.
All right, so I have all of my castings painted and I should have started out this build by saying that this is not going to be a replica build. This is going to be a 90% there. This is going to be a 90% there build that uh, when looked at from not super close will look the part. And even up close, if you don't know what you're looking for, it'll look the part. This is kind of an obscure prop that not many people would recognize right off the bat. And um, I'm taking advantage of that. Because the reason for that is, one, exact replicas require way more discipline than I typically like to put into a build. When I start to get that in depth, unless it's something that I am super excited about, um, which I am excited about this, but unless it's something that I really, I really want to take my time and enjoy, uh, I know I'm going to enjoy it for a while. If it's not one of those builds, then 90% there is perfectly fine by me. There's a lot of little bits and pieces on the original props that are just real hard to find or real hard to fabricate. So I am, uh, yeah, I'm going to get it most of the way there. Don't worry. Uh, so I have all of my castings painted and the color is just a tad off. Let me get the original. It's a tad off. It's a little more green, but that's okay. When you look at, um, the different shots of the, of the camera array in a new hope, they, because of the type of film and the lighting that they had in there, they kind of look a little darker than what this actually is. So I'm actually okay with this color. It's just gonna be closer to how it actually looks on screen as opposed to how it probably looked in real life. Um, that's all right. Then I cut out this piece of um, eighth inch MDF that had a, uh, that has two finished sides already, which just makes it a little easier to paint. Um, I cut the corners at a, uh, I rounded off the corner so that it looked a little bit more the part of a metal plate. And now I need to do some greebly stuff. So I have these uh, little lenses that I have recovered from previous builds. I've been holding onto these for probably over a year now. I have a bunch of them. Uh, so these little lenses are gonna be glued onto a few of these. Uh, I need to cut out some circles of red vinyl uh, because the originals have these red circle stickers kind of placed in random spots. Uh, so I'm gonna use vinyl to replicate that because it's just what's easiest for me. Then um, I need to, well, what do I need to do first? Then after that, I need to get all of these onto the plate. So I need to get their placement down. I need to glue them down and then I need to figure out how I'm actually going to attach them in a more, um, a more permanent way than glue. Then I need to construct the, um, the two antennas that come out of the middle of this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get to that. But um, for the base of those, I'm gonna be using these uh, two pieces of PVC that I cut down to six inches, which just happen to be about the perfect size for this. So, um, and then I have to use some styrene rods and stuff to kind of finish those out. But I'm rapidly approaching the end of this build. This is actually a pretty quick build and I think that's really because I casted these in a separate video. If I would have cast these in this video, it would have been like a two hour video and no one wants that. So uh, yeah, Greeblies, vinyl, mount them on the plate, then antennas.
All right, you guys, I am done. This thing, I mean, this is a pretty simple prop. It's, uh, there's not much modification that goes into this, um, but let me walk you through the last couple things that I did. Um, I glued, I used hot glue to affix all of the, um, the viewers to my fabricated back plate so that I could get the spacing right. Then I went, uh, I flipped it all over and through the back, use some real tiny wood screws to kind of cement them in place a little bit more of a um, permanent uh, bonding solution as opposed to the, uh, the hot glue. Then, um, I think right after that, I affixed the whole thing to a TV mount so that I can have this because my plan for this is to have it uh, up on the walls somewhere. I'll find some wall space for it somewhere, but um, yeah, my plan is to mount this to the wall so that it's looking down on the shop like an actual camera array. Um, so I mounted that to the TV mount. Then um, I had to fabricate these, I'm assuming antennas um, that come out in between right here. Um, for that, I just used some uh, PVC for the um, the thicker section that goes in between the cameras and then I use some different size styrene rods to fabricate the uh, the front portion. And I think this came out fairly well. Like I said, this is not a replica. Um, this is a fairly simple prop and it in the film you see it for a very short amount of time. Um, so finding good reference can be a challenge. So I kind of took this as a, uh, you get the base structure from the film and then you kind of have some wiggle room with placement of, of greeblies and stuff like that. But there's not a ton of greeblies that go on to this. Um, it's really just the four lenses that I put on and then a couple of red stickers. But I mean, this came out fairly well. This, I'm pleased with the structural integrity of this. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be falling apart anytime soon, which was kind of a concern. I wasn't sure um, how well my mounting methods were gonna be on this, but because these are rotocast pieces and they're not super heavy, um, I feel like all of the, I feel like this is gonna to stay together for a long time. So I'm really pleased with that, especially since I'm not gonna be handling it. Once I get the placement up on the wall, it's done. Um, so I am pretty pleased with this. I hope you guys got something from it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another Scratch Build. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, consider checking us out on Patreon. Patreon is a great way to help support the channel directly, and it allows us to give you some cool stuff in return, like free 3D models of all of the shop infrastructure builds that I do, um, you can get free merch, and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. So go check it out. Thanks, guys.